Hello everyone and welcome to our meat cutting fabrication section for our Ginger Bar Bistro. We'll be cutting some commercial tenderloins today. Here we have a cryovac with two individual tenderloins. Though yours will be packed one at a time. This is a commercial tenderloin. Uh, right at, this one's three to four pounds. Now your spec will be five pounds, but it'll be the same process. We're gonna open up. What we want to do is inspect the smell and the blood. Uh, sometimes it will have an older blood smell. So what we will do, if it does have that older blood smell, is actually rinse the tenderloin and then bring it back to the cutting board and damp it dry. So this one smells nice and fresh. Great product. Now, towel. Just going to pat it dry on both sides. And cutting board as well. Now first you'll see there's a small thin membrane on top that you can actually just pull off with your fingers without any knife work. We get all that excess off before we start taking the knife to it. Okay, once we've done that, we've actually exposed the silver skin. What we're going to do is we're going to manipulate the muscle to make it flat. And then now this one actually has a small incision already. We just insert and pull up at an angle towards the silver skin so that we're not cutting into the meat. We're just separating as thin as possible from the, from the silver skin. Okay, now this can be done in small, uh, small strips or the more comfortable you are, the bigger strips you can take. Remember to angle the blade up. Take only the silver skin. Now once the silver skin is removed, we just want to remove any excess, um, any excess silver skin you might see on the back side or any uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the, just the viscous overlay, the muscle overlay. So any large pockets like this of fat or sinew, let's go ahead and trim out. Be careful with the knife not to go into the meat. You just want to take as minimal as possible. Now once we lay it flat on its underside, see just a little bit here and there. It needs to be removed. A big collection up here. Towards the top of the tenderloin butt. And a little bit uh, at the very, very end. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of the exterior fat in between the ribs, where it sits on the ribs. It's very, very minimal. And there will be a little seam 
in between the, the two muscles at the top. I'm just going to cut that little sinew out. Working with the tip of your knife. And just a little bit more viscous. Okay. So very minimal on the waist, just a little bit of trim, uh, any of the silver skin, any of the, the viscous overlay. Now we have a clean tenderloin. Now to do this, we're going to do two different ways. We do have uh, fillets on the menu, so to do that, you're going to take your center center section right here and cut. You can cut your steaks out of this before you trim everything else up for the uh, uh, for the diced. So we would actually trim to start and then start making our nice steaks. Now once you cut your steaks for the menu for that knife, then everything else will be cut to dice. And this is a large dice, so if you're tenderloin, uh, we're actually looking at splitting the loin all the way down and then rotating it still together and splitting it down again but not to the very end on the second cut because we want to do large dice about one inch so they're nice large pieces Now on the head, it's going to be two muscles, so we're going to split down the middle. And this one's only going to be, um, well for this size will only be one cut. Now if you do have a large one, you can do um, the X cut again to where you flip it over and do another cut here. But on the smaller muscle, just go ahead and keep it just as it is with the single cut and then the one inch dice. And as you're trimming, any extra fat that you see that can be trimmed out now that you've opened that muscle up, please do so. So nice cubes, and then you also have your steaks as well. Alright, there you go, thank you.